Right then, uh, fresh from our recent victory over 923, 1923 Turk 6. Uh, these guys really, uh, bit of a, we were a bit of a mismatch for them, just as uh, our prior match up to this was a mismatch for us. Level 7 clan versus level 4 clan, and I think it showed, no no offence to them, but um, yeah, this one was all ours. The, the difference on the war map is really quite um, astounding. Now then, the two attacks that I'm going to show, show you today are my two attacks. One that I polished up after Zoe and Busy hit this. Now then. This base had got a spawn hole here, it had got another spawn hole over here, etc. But basically, I pulled the CC here in exactly the same way that Dizzy did. Uh, but then Dizzy basically pulled the CC over here by anchoring an arm archer on that, uh, that camp there. Um, realistically, what you want to be doing if you want to be pulling the CC anywhere it is towards the Queen. Effectively wanting to take the Queen out and the CC together. The way that I do this is by launching a golem in at these two defences here, bringing a brace of WBs to get me into these walls without having to do all the fanning around of walking up this obviously trapped pathway. There's going to be a, double, a, a giant bomb there. And come into this bit here. Um, and basically I'm easily going to pull the Queen out and I'm going to kill the CC. Um, and it doesn't matter to me that I'm going to expend a lot of troops to do so. Because I'm not bringing a wet rage to do that. I'm bringing four heals for my hogs. So in goes the golem. Other stuff. It's going to take out those surrounding buildings and it's going to direct things inside. And because I didn't do that with these things out here, my king goes around, walk about for a bit, but then he gets brought into the middle. And my king is just basically going to get pounded. But it's my queen that's going to take out his queen, and I'm not really too concerned about. The loss of the king and the queen they've taken out a ring of defenses at which point i know that when i launch my hogs in on these towers in here they're not going to gravitate up towards that mortar they are going to come in here and i can cover the entirety of that core of the base with one here poison will take care of that bunch of skellies it's obviously not going to affect the king and i plant my heels where my hogs are going to go near the splash damage that wizard wizard tower that's going to hit them all and from then on they can split up a bit but the majority of the hogs are yet to make it to this wizard tower so that's why i placed the heel and they got loads of health left they're going to be fine one last defence and from that point in they are going to maraud around quite happily around that base and kill it off. So hogs make great clean up troops. If you know where the giant bombs are then you're away basically and you know on that base we one that we see a lot of that there are going to be no doubles. Of course, it doubly helps with the replay. Next base that I hit this was my first ever Go Lava Loon 3 star. Really quite pleased with this one. Uh, and I hit this one straight off the bat with no replay. It's yet another one of these stupid bases that you could hog it. You could uh, assign a Go Wee Wee Army to cover the bottom half of the base and come in on this cannon, which I did in the prior war on a much tougher base. Uh, even though this guy does have double black expos. Um, and basically you could hog the top um, I did that in a prior replay from the prior war so I didn't do that this time what I did this time was basically use a few wizards to take out these defences on the outside here to clear a path to lay a jump on this section of wall here uh, in order to be able to free up this massive space with the queen, a sweeper one uh, AD 
and another AD in it. And that leaves me with two level sevens to deal with over here and here that cover each other. Uh, so I bring three lava hounds and a bunch of balloons in order to be able to do that. Tough air defences, um, so I'm bringing rage. And I'll see how this one pans out. I'm bringing jump and a rage. Jump to get into the queen. There it goes. Wizards get rid of that outside stuff really quite quickly. King and queen. Front of me wizards. King does a good job on this bait, this one. We're really proving worthwhile getting him leveled up. And my rage. Dragon's gone. Oh, nearly gone. There he goes. Balloons have gone. So not only have I got that top AD, got the sweeper. King's gonna die in a moment, but I'm gonna get that lower one. And my queen is also gonna take out that expo. Yeah, pleased with that. And then in come my stuff. Now, I probably don't really know. I reckon, um, based on the fact that I lost most of all of my balloons in this raid, I should probably have hit this one first. Not really sure. I'll lose all this stuff down here. Two hands on the top one. Then my loons. Hopefully targeted at different stuff. And a leading rage to lead the balloons onto other things after they've got rid of the AD. It's really not how things pan out. But I've got two hounds left in here. I launched some back end loons down here, three of them. They're going to take full care of some other stuff. I'm going to let some air skeletons come up in a bit. Ground targeted expo. It's a major fail. The first hound pops. The second one's got plenty of strength left. Poison on them skellies. Got a bunch of balloons left on very minimal health, but they don't like, like archer towers. Archer the wizard tower gets my uh, hound. And then. I've got just a few pups, so I'll take care of that wizard tower. And from then on in, it's like, ooh, have I done it, have I done it? But I did do it. About eight seconds to spare. But just like the hogs, the pups, if they can break late enough like that, uh, they make great cleanup troops. So, yeah, I, I was really pleased with that. That was, uh, for me, that was a good attack. Um, and a strategy that we've seen, uh, especially the Chinese clan that we faced a little while ago, doing doing really well against us. Uh, yeah, very pleased with that. Uh, I'll cover some more attacks later, but in the meantime, it's be loud.